Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala. In this video 11, isometric projection 11, we are going to discuss a problem that has come for QSAT April 2018. April 2018. It's about a sphere sitting on top of a square slab. A sphere ball sitting on top of a square slab. This is the first problem in this series where we draw sphere. Let us discuss first about the ISO or peculiarities of sphere. If a sphere is there with a radius small r, ISO projection of that sphere is a circle of radius capital R equal to small r. I repeat, ISO projection of a sphere of radius small r is equal to is a circle whose radius is capital R where capital R is equal to small r. Or you can say ISO projection of a ball is a circle of radius equal to actual radius. ISO projection of a ball is a circle of actual radius. That's all. Then what about ISO view? ISO view of a sphere of radius small r is a circle of radius capital R. What is capital R? Capital R is equal to small r divided by 0 0.825. This is extremely important. Why it is so? We have learned up to this that iso projection is small. But here you say iso projection of a ball is not small. It is the same diameter circle. Agreed? We have said, learned that iso view is actual size. Here we say iso view is not actual size, but it is bigger than actual size. Now. This is by virtue of the peculiar shape of the sphere. I will just say the reason. You assume a sphere in a cube. How do we draw iso projection of objects? We keep the object in a cube of appropriate size and keep the solid diagonal of the cube perpendicular to VP and draw the elevation of the object kept inside. Agreed? Similarly, you you want to draw iso projection of a ball. What do you do? You inscribe it in a cube and then keep the solid diagonal of the cube perpendicular to VP. When all sides of the cube are reduced in size in the elevation, the diameter of the ball is not reduced. Diameter of the ball remains same. Okay, this is sufficient. That is why the isometry projection of a sphere is a circle of actual diameter. Actual radius. Since the ISO view has to be bigger than that, we increase the size of the ISO view by that same fraction 0.825. That's all. Okay. This is the basic concept. You have to remember it. Okay. Now, coming to our problem. Coming to our problem where a ball of 60 mm diameter is sitting, is sitting, a ball of 60 mm diameter is sitting on top of a top of a square slab, we have to draw first of all the ISO scale. 45 degrees, 15 degrees, A, B, C, this is 60, what do you want? 20 you want. This is 20. What else do you want? 30 you want. Let, I, let, me, let me mark it here. We will later discuss why 30 is required. Okay. Now, now what? Draw IP of the box. Now, when you have got a sphere, its ISP ISO projection is a circle of actual radius. When a sphere is sphere or a, or a spherical part is in combination with any other solid, how do we draw? Use isoscale for all other parts till you find the center of the sphere. I repeat, use isoscale. What are we doing? We are drawing IP of a combined object on which there is a spherical part. What do you do? Use isoscale till you find the center of the ball, center of the sphere. Once you get the center of the sphere, use actual radius to draw the surface, circle. Agreed? Okay. Then how do you draw the iso view? 
of the same object. Use actual dimensions till you find the center of the ball. I repeat, use actual dimensions till we find the center of the ball, sphere. Once you get the center of the ball, center of the sphere, draw the sur surface as a circle or the surface if it is half or half, full or full. Draw the surface of the sphere with a radius equal to actual radius divided by 0.825. That is the procedure. Okay. So here we are drawing ISO projection. So what do you do? Draw 30 degree line. 30 degree line 30 30 60 now 60 sorry. take 60 take 60 what do you get you get the rhombus of 60 side. A rhombus of 60 side. A, ro a rhombus of 60 side. From all the four corners, from all the four corners, take ISO 20 up. Take ISO 20 up. Connect. Take ISO 20 up, connect. What do you get? You get the slab. You get the slab. Where is the top? Center of the top slab, draw the diagonals. O, or I call it C. C. What is C? C is C is the center of the top rhombus or center of the top square surface. From this C, measure ISO 30 up. Why measure ISO 30 up? O. What is this? This is square ISO 60 or 60 into 0.816. What is this? What is this? ISO 20 or 20 into 0 0.826, 825. Then what is this? This is ISO 30. That is 30 into 0 0.825. Now what? Once you get O, what is O? O is the center of the ball. Draw a circle. Draw a circle. Draw a circle whose radius is what? 30. Now, this is invisible. This is invisible. You can see the, cir the circle passes through below C. It will not pass through C. It will pass through below C. It is compulsory because this is ISO 30 and this is 30. This is ISO 30, this is 30. So 30 has to pass through below 4. This is the ISO projection of the ball sitting on the square slab. Now, suppose you draw its ISO view. You draw its ISO view. What is the side of the rhombus? What is the side of the rhombus? It is, it is 60. What is, instead of ISO 20, how much is it? 20. Instead of ISO 30, how much is it? 30. Instead of 30, how much is it? 30 divided by 0 0.815. I have explained the dimensions to be followed with the help of green color. With the help of green color, I have explained the dimensions to be followed while drawing ISO view of the same object. ISO view of the same object. It is not that you draw like this and simply write like this. No. You have to use this green dimensions. You have to use this green dimension to draw ISO view of the solid.
So what happens when you draw it size of you? It will look slightly bigger in size because you are changing using larger dimensions. Agreed? This is a very very important question. In one examination in QSAT or KTU, for a question like this, you are asked to draw ISO view as well as ISO projection. Same in the same question paper, you are asked to draw both. Draw ISO view and ISO projection. That was the last statement in the question. So you will be drawing them together. It will hardly take five minutes. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.